ladies and gentlemen, we are here to say farewell to Kurt Banker. You might be thinking, Tom, are you taking this a little bit too much like a funeral? But he's moving to Florida, guys. So that's all I'm going to say. So there's a lot of thank you, Kurtz, in the chat right now. A lot of, a lot of thank you, Kurtz. Thank you. Thank you, guys. You beautiful, beautiful souls. This past week, on Friday, try to sneak it in in the news, like right at the end of the week. I saw that. Right at I the end that. of the week. Right at the end of the week. They're like, <laughs> they won't notice. They're focused on the war in Ukraine. Kurt Benkert was waived by the Green Bay Packers. And so now Kurt is a free agent. Free. But will always be claimed mm-hmm. right here. By the pack cast. The first thing and most important thing, Kurt, is how you freaking fracking do it. Because you look good. You look Thank good. You. I feel great. You know, I feel healthy. I feel in great shape mentally. I have a lot of clarity. Um, tied up some loose ends, figured out where we're going to be moving. All right, let's pick a spot in Florida. Never been to this place and we're going. You know, you and I have talked about this, but one of the things that uh, was just punch right to the feels. Your wife, Sam, posted on Instagram this uh, big, long post talking about how you you folks have moved quite a bit, right? Because of your career, whether it's being like a fringe guy, being on the practice squad in Atlanta, right? Going to Green Bay, you know, the constant moving and how now Scout has made friends and now like that still. And I was just like, wow, this, <laughs> this is- That's this like is the real job. life of football. Like it's, that gets kind of lost in a lot of it, especially for like someone in my shoes that you don't know year to year where you're going to be or if it's going to even last like the end of the month. So- Yep. There's a lot of that. And I think a lot of us moving down, like setting up shop and having a place that's home base uh, that we don't ever have to move from if we don't want to. That's uh, really important for like my family because I drag them around in this. Like I, I get to do the fun stuff. They have to figure sure. out life. It's it's just not worth the headache to like, all right, we're going to wait around here and then see where we go next and then move all our stuff. And then all right, maybe I'm there a month. Sure. Like some guys are on four different teams in one year. And it's like, I'm not doing that to my family. So I'm I'm excited just to like have a fresh start with like life and I'm playing the best football that I've ever played. So I'm encouraged. It just is about getting the right opportunity. There was no room to like climb to the 53 here anyway. So I kind of knew that sure. like the writing was on the wall. That was the conversation I had last year before I was cut and put on practice squad. Like, Hey, all of famer first on draft pick in the room. Like we can't keep three. And I was like, yeah. all right, I get it. So I knew that that decision was going to be looming come august i didn't think it would happen like this soon but i'm like hey yeah i actually appreciate the fact that you did it now and didn't let this thing bleed out it's not like all right well i'm gonna go hang it up now just because this didn't work out it's hey like let's try to take advantage of this window if it doesn't work out hell at least i tried and i gave it like the the old college try and if it it does then great like then we you have to have so much go your way and fall in line with you like just to get the chance Especially yeah. like as a fringe guy. If you're not a first round to like third or fourth round draft pick, like a lot of shit has to go your way. Like yeah. people have to unfortunately get hurt. Like people have to mess up. Like you have to have this series of unfortunate events happen to people that are in front of you that you care about. It is what it is. Like I've been putting the best foot forward for going on five years now, like being ready, but played behind Matt Ryan for three years. He never got hurt. He didn't miss a single game while I was available. Um, and then Aaron, obviously, the one game that he misses, I missed as well with COVID. Like, yep. but again, I would have only backed up Jordan that game. But again, like those, the window for availability, like I've had really just one opportunity so far in five years. And that's a lot of work behind the scenes for one opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, it's just like, I'm going to keep doing it. Like I'm going to keep training, all that stuff. Like I'm ready to play. I'm playing well in practice and all that good stuff. But um, you look at someone like Taylor Heineke, who two years ago wasn't even playing football, was taking college classes. Yeah. And they needed him in a pinch. And now he's got an extra three years in his career. So it's like those things just have to happen. And I'm really thankful that I have other things that I'm into that kind of pay the bills, set up the future, all that stuff to where football really is for me. Like it's this game that I can just be passionate about, play it like a kid and just keep training and preparing for the moment. I mean, the way that your entire career started just with the Packers was yeah. it, like, it wasn't supposed to happen. It was and not. It, it's you got crazy. Thrown out and they're like, we're not going to let you leave. Like with the Packers, dude, it was first off. It, if Aaron didn't just take the whole off season off and have that riff, Blake Bortles would have never got brought in. And then if yeah. 
then I would have never gotten brought in. Like I only got brought in because of a series of crazy ass events that never happened like once every 10 years. Yeah. And I, or else I wouldn't even have had the tryout. And then, so I had a tryout where I was what seemed like the guy that was like the secondary thought brought in and I was able to do well at the tryout. And then throughout all of OTAs, it was Jordan and Blake Bortles and then me. And I got like two reps, all of OTAs last year. And then I come in day one of training camp and Blake's cut and I'm the three. I'm like, Oh wow. Nuts. Didn't expect that. Thought I was gonna have to compete. Go through preseason, no reps at all. Then Jordan tweaks his shoulder. Then I'm starting the Jets preseason game. Like it's just that series of events that like, I shouldn't even have been a Packer. Was there kind of a, I guess like kind of a hope or was it a, all right, maybe they'll just stash me like on the, the practice squad again. And like yeah. that we'll just do another year on the practice squad. I would have been like, okay with it. I wasn't going to be happy to be on the practice squad. Like I was sure. going into this knowing I want to play throughout preseason on a ball out and I want to make them make a decision, knowing the decision is going to be to cut me. And then hopefully I get picked up from somewhere else. Like I wanted to be a Packer, but I knew that like my goals, like with my career don't line up with that. Like they weren't going to line up. So they made the decision way early and the conversations that I had, a lot of it was really good. They're like, look, we know that if we needed you in a four game pinch, like we believe that you could win those games for us. But like with two guys ahead, we're not going to keep on in the 53. And yeah. like going forward, like this spot is always to evaluate somebody new. We know what we have in you. That was kind of how the conversation went. It was like, look, no fault to yourself. You couldn't have done anything different. Like you've crushed everything, but like this is just where we are. We're going to evaluate a new guy this year. And so can you kind of like walk me through what happens in that process? So like, you're yeah. just like hanging out, having a good time. <laughs> so, and yeah. then We had our last practice on Thursday, wrap everything up, go home. Friday rolls around doing some business stuff off the field. Um, get a phone call from a number I don't have saved. Hey, it's blah, blah, blah with the Packers. Uh, he says, I need you to come in. I'm like, all right, what's going on? Like, what do you need? I uh, need you to bring your iPad. You're being waved. I'm like, did I do something? Yeah, and because uh, I was like, come, like I did not expect it. It was the last thing I expected. I thought it was spam for one and two. One was the Packers. I'm like, all right, what event do you need me for this weekend? Like, that's literally where my my dude, mind he was went. playing Warzone and you 360 no scoped him, and Probably. he's just like, you know what, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, so I get the call. And I'm like, I look, I hang up, and yeah. I go grab my iPad and I look down the staircase, and I'm like, hey Sam, I just got cut, and she's like, what? What happened? And I was like. They said nothing. They just are cutting me. So I'm going to go in, going to handle this, going to have those conversations, see what's going on. And yeah. then that's really what it was. It was just like, all right, you just want to move on. Cool. Like it is what it is. But I was shocked, man. Like I did not expect it because I've been playing really well. And like, I'm, I know the offense, like I've mastered even a deeper yeah. level of it. Like I feel like I'm in a really good spot. And then all of a sudden it's like rug pull. I'm like, all right, it is what it is. Time to buckle up. Was it kind of like that stereotypical, like, Hey, you know, Kurt, you're a great guy, you know, but it's, uh, so, and then just like explaining like, the situation. So none of the coaches are even in the office right now. They already went on vacation. So I yep. go in and it's the guy who's like handling all of like the, giving back the iPad, giving back the parking pass, all that stuff. Right. And I'm like, was well, anybody in the building that I can even talk to? He's like, ah, let me see if Goot's available. So I go upstairs, talk to Goot. And he's the only one that I saw in the building, like from that. Okay. And so like, I got to sit down with him and talk to him about it. And like, he was awesome. He was very open about it. He was like, look, man, like, you know the spot you're in. We know the spot you're in. Um, this spot right now, and there's a three. Like we're just gonna like we're always trying to evaluate somebody new. We know what we have with you. Um, like there's not a, not a 53 spot. So hopefully by doing this now you get a chance to latch on. Like just like we all talked about. So as coaches come back in the office for other teams, I'll be able to like do workouts and stuff like that. And, like, the process right now, like there's no reason to claim anybody. Like there's nothing to really claim for. There's no dead. rush on it. Like it's it's a dead period. And for a guy like me that like. Typically, I'm not like a priority guy anyways. Like they would love to br like bring me in for a workout or whatever and like see me in person before they commit to anything, even though it's like not really committing anything. There's a question right now, but like, where would you like to land? Is it kind yeah. of like whoever will have me? <laughs> like, because Yeah, like I just I want to go to a, to a situation. Obviously, like any situation is better than no situation. So like that's sure. I'll throw that out there. Like I'd love to be a part of anything, but I just want to go somewhere where I can just contribute in any capacity like. Yeah. And <laughs> nobody. Well, it's yeah, it's know, not... Sorry about that. You growing horns or something? Here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's it's just uh there. it's a condition. Um but I just want to go somewhere that I can like give like my all of like everything that I offer from personality to like contributing in the room to ideas and just like kind of just help in any way possible. One, and then two, like a place where I can feel like I can make steps and like gain ground and like yeah, and, like obviously like nobody's gonna I'm never gonna compete for a starting spot off rip. Like that doesn't, that's just stupid to even talk about. 
Sure. But I just want to be able to compete for something. You know, obviously, you know, you made a connection with the fan base. Mm-hmm. Uh, can you kind of an attempt yeah. to kind of say like, all right, there was like a one or a couple of moments that you're like, that completely encapsulates like what it was to carry the G for the time that I did. Yeah, I would say recently I we went on a team outing to Dave and Buster's, like our full team. And I show up to Dave and Buster's and at the front door is someone wearing my jersey, like in front of our whole team. Like we have all of our stud players, all this and that. They could have had their jerseys and he's wearing my jersey. And I was like, that shit's really cool. Like LaFleur is walking in, all these guys are walking in, this dude's wearing my shit. I'm like, yeah, Let's that's go. the power of social media and memes. While we are very sad, obviously, to see you go, um, I think one, you know, the G will always still be carried, even as a Dolphins fan. But uh, you know, we 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 wish you the absolute best of luck, and we know it. you're going to crush it. Whatever. Thank you, do. my friend. I appreciate everybody too. I see all the all the love and chat and whatnot. It means a lot. Thanks. She good. does. But folks, I appreciate you. Go show Kurt Ben Kurt some love. While this may be the farewell to Green Bay, Kurt Benkert episode, I can promise you it will not be the farewell to Kurt Benkert. Because, I promise you that. Oh, there are going to be things that are going to be happening. We have some cool things that will be happening. We got some cool things. Well, folks, thank you so much for watching. I'm Tom Grassi. That's Kurt freaking fracking Benkert. Knees out, everybody, for Benkert. Knees, Knees out. out. Knees out. There it is. Knees out. And as always, go pack go. See you guys.